Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two white uh, circles of different dimensions fully inscribed in a big uh, circle as you can see in this given diagram such that the centers uh, of uh, these circles are uh, O, P and Q respectively and the points uh, C, T and D are uh, our points of tangency and a b is the code for this uh, big uh, circle that passes through this uh, point of tangency t and furthermore uh, this code a b length uh, has been given to us as uh, 100 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this green shaded region this area this area this area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that uh, this is our big circle, whereas uh, this is our medium circle and this is our small circle. And now let's make an observation. We can see the green shaded region area is equal to the area of this uh, big uh, circle minus uh, the area of the medium uh, circle and the small circle area as well as you can see in this uh, given equation so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of uh, the big uh, circle the area of the medium uh, circle and the area of the smallest uh, circle uh, as well and now let's assume the radius uh, of this uh, medium circle is uppercase r and the radius for this uh, small circle is uh, lowercase uh, r and here's our next step i have connected uh, these points uh, c and uh, d and now let's recall this uh, crucial factor the centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear so no wonder the points of tangency and these uh, centers uh, all of them lie on the very same uh, line as you can see and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius bisects the chord and here we can see that this radius is perpendicular to this chord AB so therefore this segment AT is going to be equal to this segment BT we know this whole code a b is 100 units so therefore this segment a t is going to be half of this 100 this is going to be 50 units and this segment is going to be 50 units as well and now we know that the radius of this small circle is lowercase r so therefore this whole diameter ct is going to be 2 times uh, r and likewise the radius of this uh, medium circle is uh, uppercase r so therefore uh, this whole uh, diameter of this uh, medium circle is going to be 2 times uh, uppercase uh, r so therefore uh, this whole uh, bigger uh, diameter for this uh, big circle is going to be 2 times uppercase r plus 2 times uh, lowercase uh, r so therefore the diameter of this uh, big circle uh, is going to be 2 times uppercase r uh, plus 2 times uh, lowercase r as you can see in this equation and here i can factor out uh, 2 so this could be written as uh, 2 times uh, uppercase uh, r plus uh, lowercase uh, r so therefore we can write the diameter of this big circle as uh, 2 times uh, uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, the radius of this uh, big circle is going to be half of uh, this uh, diameter so the radius of this big circle is going to be uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r and here's our next step i have connected uh, this uh, point a with this uh, center p and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, atp and now let's make an observation we can see this is the radius uh, of uh, our this uh, big circle 
and the radius of this big circle is uh, uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r so therefore our this uh, a p length uh, turns out to be uppercase r plus lowercase r and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, t p and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, t p length uh, is uh, equal to this uh, whole uh, length uh, c p minus this uh, length uh, c t as you can see in this equation and now we can see this uh, c p length uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, big circle and this uh, c t length uh, is the small circle's uh, diameter and here i have substituted this uh, big circle's radius and the diameter for this uh, small circle if we simplify the right hand side uh, our this uh, t p length is going to be uppercase r minus uh, lowercase uh, r so therefore our this uh, side length uh, turns out to be uppercase r minus uh, lowercase r and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, atp and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here is our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uppercase r plus lowercase r whereas uh, these are our two legs so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we got uh, 50 square plus uh, uppercase r minus lowercase r whole square equals to uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square we are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side uh, binomial so our left hand side is going to become uh, 2500 plus uppercase uh, r square minus 2 times uppercase r times lowercase r plus uh, lowercase r square equals to and now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side so therefore right hand side is going to become uppercase r square plus 2 times uppercase r times uh, lowercase r plus uh, lowercase r whole square and here we can see this uppercase r square and uppercase r square are gone lowercase r square and lowercase r square gone as well and now we are going to add uh, 2 times uh, r times r this is uh, gone so therefore if we add the right hand side that is going to give us 4 times uppercase uh, r times lowercase r equals to 2500 and now we are going to divide both sides by 4 this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore our uppercase r times lower case r value turns out to be 625 and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius and in our case the big circle radius is uh, uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, the area of this uh, big circle is going to be pi times uh, the big circle radius is uh, uppercase r plus lowercase r whole square and now if we focus uh, on this uh, binomial the square of this one is going to be uppercase r square plus 2 times uh, uppercase uh, r plus uh, lowercase r square as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to distribute so therefore this big circle uh, area turns out to be pi times uppercase r square plus uh, 2 pi times uh, uppercase r times lowercase r plus uh, pi times uh, lowercase r square so this is uh, our big circle uh, area and now we are going to calculate the area of the medium uh, circle and the radius of the medium circle is uppercase r so therefore uh, the medium circle radius is going to become uh, pi times uh, uppercase r whole square 
and finally we are going to calculate the area of this uh, small circle as well and the uh, radius for this small circle is lowercase r so therefore this small circle uh, area is going to be pi times the lowercase r whole square and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region and now let's recall this uh, equation once again and we already calculated uh, this uh, big uh, circle area over here the medium circle area over here and likewise the small circle area over here as well and we are going to substitute uh, in this uh, equation as you can see in this uh, next step this uh, is the big uh, circle uh, area minus uh, this is the medium circle area minus uh, this is the small circle area and now we can see this term cancels out with this one likewise this cancels out with uh, this one as well so therefore we are ended up with the uh, 2 pi times the uh, uppercase r times the uh, lowercase r and now let's focus on this uh, uppercase r times lowercase r we already figured out its value as uh, 625 so i'm going to substitute this value 625 over here as you can see in this uh, next step so if we simplify the right hand side our green shaded area turns out to be 1250 times pi square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 1250 times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 3927 uh, square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye